Hi everyone, thanks so much for being here. My name is Kat and I make houseplant videos here on Good and Planty. If you just so happen to absolutely love this video, please consider liking it, commenting, subscribing, or following me on Instagram. All of these things help me grow my channel like a plant. Okay, so these space heaters are out, the sun is dead, and you are stressed. Winter is here. Well, I guess, I guess not really, it's November, but you get what I'm saying. Today I am going to go over five tips that address the main parts of plant care but during the winter. So that means things like light, humidity, all of that good stuff. So the number one tip I'm going to talk about, and for some reason I've been talking a lot about this lately, but that is going to be washing your plant. Specifically the leaves and foliage, but the entire plant needs to be clean. This is super important for two main reasons. Number one is you want to make sure that you are reducing your chance for a pest infection. Station. When the seasons are changing, it is just like the perfect time for nasty little pests to get in your plants and spread. And while your plants are probably already going to be declining a little bit during the winter months, a pest infestation might be just like the nail in the coffin. So cleaning your plants is a great way to do a little bit of pest prevention. And then of course, it will reduce the amount of dirt and dust on the foliage and that is key because obviously during the winter months, there is going to be less sunlight for your plants and you want to minimize any little thing between the plant and the sunlight. Dust and dirt, believe it or not, will reduce the amount of sunlight that your plant gets to drink up. My go-to DIY foliage cleaner will be linked up here. I made a whole video on it and it includes neem oil. So it is a great pest preventative and of course it gets all of that nasty grime off of your leaves. And while I am saying leaves, make sure that you also clean off any of the petioles or stems, all of that stuff, because pests will find their way in everywhere. So make sure that you are keeping a close eye on all of your plant friends. Okay, tip number two is going to be reduce your watering. I probably pull back on my watering by 50%. I usually during the winter months do a once a week heavy watering day whereas in the summer that's about twice a week i absolutely recommend getting a moisture meter for the winter months because that is the best way hands down to tell if your plant needs more water you're gonna have to pull back on watering because not only are your plants probably going to a little bit of like a dormancy phase where they're not using as much energy and popping out more growth but also there is less sunlight throughout the day so it is more likely that any water is going to sit in the pot and soil for much longer and of course Especially if your plants are not growing anymore, do not add any fertilizer to the water in the winter months. Tip number three is to maintain high humidity. If you are anything like me, you'll start to see your skin getting dry, your lips getting chapped, and it is the same deal for your plants. The air is naturally going to be drier, and then with things like space heaters or just your central heating system, it is going to get very, very dry in your home and a lot of your plants especially the tropical plants are going to absolutely hate that the best way to take care of this issue is to get a humidifier but i completely understand that not everybody has the room or money to get a humidifier in that case a great backup plan is to group your plants together which does have some drawbacks when it comes to things like pests but when it does come to humidity they will sort of create like a humidity bubble around themselves and it will help out the moisture in the air believe it or not and then also you can go with the classic pebble tray trick where you take a tray you put some pebble rock on it you fill it with water and then you place the plant on top of that little setup and the idea there is that the water from the pebble tray will kind of evaporate into the air and produce humidity personally i'm not a huge mist fan there are some circumstances where misting is helpful i guess but in general i really would not suggest misting your 
plants. Hopefully that wasn't too controversial for anyone. Okay, tip number four is to keep temperatures high. Obviously plants love warmth. A lot of their natural environments are warm. So when they get hit with that cold winter air, they're gonna get a little bit grumpy, just like me. Make sure that you are obviously bringing heat into your home, whether that's through a space heater or just whatever heating system that you have in your house. That's not groundbreaking, but again, just make sure that you are counteracting that dry heat with humidity. Another area to definitely keep an eye on are windows because while you might try to provide more light for your plants and shove them in a window, that's actually not a great idea because that cold and frost will come off your window and still chill your plants. If you need to use up windowsill space, I absolutely recommend rotating your plants that sit on the windowsill. I've talked about that in a previous like fall slash winter prep video, but it definitely remains true. I absolutely recommend rotating any windowsill plants during the winter season. Okay, and tip number five, we kind of just breeze right through all of these tips, is to provide supplemental light. With the whole window issue, and then of course the days are shorter, your plants are going to be missing out on a lot of yummy, delicious light that they are used to. Supplemental lights are just the way to go here. Try to keep your grow light time and strength similar to what the plant was experiencing during the summer months. So my grow lights, my more gentle one is on for 12 hours on, 12 hours off, but I keep my other grow lights on for about what they experienced in terms of sunlight during the summer months. If you want to see my grow light setup going into this winter, I will plug my grow light setup video right up above so you can click that and check it out. Of course, plants like cacti and succulents and plants that love direct sun should be prioritized when it comes to supplemental light. If again, you cannot afford supplemental light or you just do not have the space for it, definitely utilize window space, but just be careful about the cold temperatures and frost in, with the window. If you want low light tolerant plants, I also have a video for that. So I will link that up above while I am linking basically every other video on my channel. <laughs> okay, so those are my key five winter tips for your house plants. I definitely want to end the video by stressing that the number one most important thing to do during the winter months is to just listen to your plants and be very observant of them. Obviously your indoor environment is not going to perfectly mimic what the plants are used to in their native habitat so you might notice that some plants are responding to the winter season very differently from others. Some plants might be going dormant while others are just losing a little bit of foliage. Basically just be mindful, be attentive, and try to supplement as much of their ideal care as possible. At the end of the day, do not beat yourself up if you lose a couple leaves or even a plant. It's fine. It's okay. I've done it. I'm sure a lot of you have already done it and it's just, it's just the way winter is. If you like winter, please comment down below and expose yourself so we can discuss because winter is disgusting. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope this was a little bit helpful and if not, I hope that I just eased you a little bit in terms of not being alone during the stressful winter months. We are all there watching our plants with a close eye and it's going to be okay. All right, and that's gonna be it. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.